Koto. Um, Stephanie and I had a great time presenting at the Auckland Gwyn Summit. We had some great engagement from you all and you asked some really great questions and so we wanted to take the opportunity to answer some of those questions for you now. Mm. That's a tricky one because it can be really daunting raising issues of inequality um, and there are many different ways that you could look to do this and I actually think it's really important that you do. Um, it's important for our leaders to hear the experiences of the people in their organisation. Um, they're also undertaking a number of initiatives to address inequality and it's important for them to know um, whether or not those are having the desired impact. First of all, I'd encourage you to have a look at some of the policies um, in your organisation about how you can raise issues and see what the different options are. But some of the options that you could look at are talking to your people team, raising something, you know, even informally with your manager, or if you don't feel comfortable with your own manager, maybe with another manager that you do trust. And just approach it from a bit of an inquiring mindset. Ask mm -hmm. to understand the issue and if there's something that perhaps that they can do to help you further understand that or perhaps make a change. Um, also another way to tackle it is to do it in a group so it can be a little bit less intimidating raising things if you're mm. talking to others and doing it as a group um, and one way is through your employee-led network so if you have a, a women's network in your organisation perhaps raise the issue with them first and test it there and see what their thoughts are and then perhaps they can raise it as a collective issue on behalf of, of a group. Well, some agencies are now including employees who are on um, parental leave in their remuneration rounds and our guidance recommends that they do this. You can have a look at what your agency does and if they don't do this, then you can raise this with your leadership team or your women's network can raise it with your leadership team and you can point to our guidance. There can be reasons for this um, and it depends a little bit on your remuneration system. If um, your agency uses a step-based system, people progress each year, so if you're in the role longer, then you will be on a higher salary. If either in bands or on steps, um, somebody's paid higher, they might be placed higher on the band because they've had prior relevant experience. But either way, you can check your remuneration systems and the processes of decision making and the criteria that are being used. And you can always talk to your manager about having your skills and your competencies recognised. This is a really great question. There are actually a number of different tools that you can use to measure the value of work and they're used in the context of the pay equity claim process. The Public Service Commission actually has its own tool, it's called the Pay Equity Work Assessment Tool or PEWA. We're actually going through a process to review that tool at the moment, but what it does is it looks at particular jobs and it looks at the tasks and then it looks behind those tasks to the degree of skill, effort and responsibility required and that's how we value the role. We're actually um, improving this tool at the moment in response to a lot of feedback we've had from um, employer agencies and also unions. And this feedback has shown us that there are some aspects of competencies that we're not actually recognising at the moment, particularly Māori cultural competencies. And so we're really excited that the review of the tool is allowing us to assess for the first time those levels of competencies in particular roles. Outside of the pay equity context, context there are also other tools that you can use. The Spotlight tool is one that some organisations use when they're uh, job sizing or resizing a particular role and that will help with gender neutral criteria looking at the skills, um, responsibilities and level of effort required for a role. I think the legal profession has gone some way uh, but I think there's still a lot further they can go. So now we know that uh, there are more women actually in the profession than men but still women are grossly underrepresented at the leadership levels in law firms. Um, there are less women QCs, Queen's Council, and less women appearing in the most senior courts like the Supreme Court and the Court of Appeal. There are a number of measures that have been taken by law firms to address some of the behaviours which we've heard about in the me media which um, are very detrimental to women. And there are a lot of um, uh, law firms that are taking steps to address that. 
The Law Society has also issued a gender equality charter and asked um, law firms to sign up to that, which I think is a really positive start. But unfortunately, it's a voluntary um, option for law firms, and I'd like to see something more compulsory at this point. So I think overall, um, there is a lot more that we can be doing, but things have slowly started to improve um, over the last 20 years. I think it might be something like we, the employer, has confidence in you. Women who have talked about um, their career progression have often talked about people in their work lives who have backed them to succeed. So I think that if agencies and um, employers in general really want to use the talent that they have available, then they need to back all their talented employees to succeed. As Alex mentioned earlier, as a general rule you should always feel free to ask about your policies and practices. Your agency's policy should be on your intranet, but you can also talk with your manager, your people team or a union delegate. And if you think that the uh, policies themselves are unfair, then your women's network could always raise them with leaders. This is a great role for your women's network and it really does make a difference. Thanks again for those great questions. We hope that we've answered them for you. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to email us at this address. Kia pai tera.